and welcome back to another episode of Creative Corner. Uh, today we are going to be doing some abstract painting with oil paints. Last week you uh, tuned in with me to do some meditative drip painting. We did those drip paintings out of acrylic paints. So oil and acrylic are made slightly different. Acrylic paint is uh, made using almost, almost similar to plastic. Um, and it's able to dry faster. Whereas oils, they're made with uh, different types of chemicals that are safe to use and it's gonna take a longer longer to dry. And I'm gonna be talking about some of the items and materials we'll be using in this week's video. Okay, so some of the items we'll be utilizing. Um, I have some palette knives, a variety of paint brushes, a pencil, and then I also have a few brands of oil paints. Um, it's just a personal preference depending on what you want to do. But I have Academy, Windsor & Newton, as well as Gamblin. Uh, so like I mentioned, it's just up to you what you would like to, to utilize. But these are my, my, my brands that I like to use. And then right in front of me, I also have an 18 inches by 20 inch sized canvas. Um, it's already prepped and primed. I was planning on using this for a different painting, but I want to do something else with this one, so I'm going to show you um, what we'll be doing today. But on um, your right, my left-hand side, I also have um, some paint thinner, so that way um, the oil paints are going to be spread uh, a little bit easier on the canvas. I also have my... my uh, painter's palette right here it's caked with years worth of oil paints and then I also brought an example of an abstract painting I did about two months ago uh, so I combined several techniques drip painting oil paints collage uh, just to create this uh, amazing abstract painting okay so I mentioned before that we are going to be doing some abstract painting today um, oil paints do take a longer um, time to dry, so uh, while I work on this, I'm going to get back to it in about two to three weeks from now. Should be plenty of time for the background to dry, but we're going to go ahead and get started on our background. So it's entirely up to you what you, your color preference would uh, for your background would be. You can do a nice neutral color, uh, which I have here. It's called Paints Gray. It's a nice neutral color to work with. Um, but I want to choose a very uh, colorful background. So I'm going to go ahead and get started use, utilizing a magenta, cerulean blue, as well as lemon yellow. So we're going to kind of almost use highlighted colors um, to make this background. So. As an artist, you're more than welcome, or as yourself too, you're more than welcome to use um, a paint palette. It could be anywhere from a piece of glass um, that doesn't have any sharp edges, um, a paper bowl, uh, the pl uh, plastic palettes, which you can get for relatively cheap. Or if you want, you can um, be like me. I, I like to just put paint directly onto the canvas. So that's what we're going to be doing. And it doesn't really matter where you put the paint, just as long as the paint is on the canvas. And I'm just going to use a variety of different colors. And if you want to, you're more than welcome to add other colors to as well. So right in front of me, if I can get this open, I also have titanium white, which I'm going to be incorporating into my painting as well. And to add some contrast, I am going to also be utilizing some uh, lamp black, which my paints 
haven't been used well, so that's why it's difficult to open them. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black. Because black oil paint goes a long way. You don't want to add too much unless you want to. As I watched the bottle cap roll across the canvas. Yeah, getting paint all over the place, which is fine. And the next up, I have some paint thinner and a container to the side. I'm gonna add some to your paintbrush. Not too much. And then you're just gonna go ahead and start spreading the paint around the canvas. If you're working on a small canvas, you more than well can utilize a medium sized paintbrush. But if you're working on a larger size canvas, um, I suggest that you go to a larger size brush. It's up to you how you want your background to turn out, but for me, I don't want the white of my background to be showing through, so I'm just going to move around the canvas, possibly getting a little bit more of my paint thinner. And me personally, I like showing my paintbrush strokes throughout my canvas. So I'm just gonna leave some of this as is and not smooth out the edges. You can choose to smooth out the edges. Um, you'll just wanna get a dry paintbrush and uh, start blending in some of the areas that you're working on. But it's not what I'm gonna do. Occasionally, you'll want to go back through it, um, through the painting and just add a little bit more paint. Because I don't like how uh, thin it looks, so I'm just going to add more paint. For a more richer color. So we're almost done with this background. This last part, just move the yellow around the canvas.
and it's okay if you do some pencil marks on your background to have it show through um, like I have on mine um, partly because I'm going to be going over the background once it's dry And when working with oils, you always want to have extra paintbrushes that don't have anything on it. So that way you can blend some of the colors if you want. Okay, I think I'm happy with this background. I am gonna go ahead and let this dry um, for about a week or so, and then we'll go ahead and get back to it um, in our next session, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and be putting a list of materials in our description um, below, but if um, once you're done, you wanna clean your paint brushes. If you don't have a paint thinner to clean it with, you can also use uh, Dawn dish soap. It's really great for cleaning oil paints. Um, but that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to let me know and then I'll go ahead and get to your questions, okay? Thank you for joining me today on today's episode of Creative Corner Abstract Painting. We're gonna go ahead and continue this here in a few weeks. Thank you very much and you have a good day.